My name is Paul Under, and this is a wet plate collodion portrait session I did recently with my friend Bailey. So you can see right now I'm pouring a plate. Uh, in this case, the collodion I'm using is UVPX from UV Photographic. Uh, Bailey's standing back there. We're going to do a take on this first shot on the Venus de Milo. So pouring that plate, uh, letting the collodion, uh, excess collodion drip off, and then we'll let it set for a little bit. Um, gonna drop it into uh, my Lund tank. That's a five by seven tank, so we're nitrate, and I'll leave it in there for about five minutes. So while that's going on, move back over to uh, the camera um, using a Brick and James uh, eight by ten camera with a five by seven reducing back on it. Uh, the lights, uh, you can see there is a um, Pulsy Buff 48-inch uh, softbox that's attached to a Speedotron head with a, a bracket I 3D printed. Uh, we're going to fire that off. Uh, that's a 206 head. We're going to fire that off at 4,800 watt seconds here, full blast. Just a single pop. All triggered. You can see hanging there a, a pocket wizard hanging off the uh, the bottom of my camera that... I have to wirelessly connect everything. Loading the film carrier, pulling the dark slide. Here we go. One big pop of light. Back into the dark box now. A lot of silver stains on that box. I started this process about two years ago, so a lot of stains on there, plus I had a, a spill uh, where this whole thing got upended and my, my silver spilt all over my dark cloth. That's a 3D printed 5x7 carrier that I made myself. Here goes a uh, developer, um, just your standard iron developer, iron and vinegar. About 12 seconds development time, watching it come up. See it a little bit there with this, this angle from, uh, from the GoPro. And we'll stop it with water once I think it's done. There we go. I'm going to rock that back and forth in there for a while now and make sure that when I pull that plate out of the tray that the surface is smooth and not oily looking. That way I know that all the developer has been washed out. So that's what I'm checking for here. Just what's that water look like on the surface? Obviously it wasn't ready. Put it back in. Shake it around a bit. It was done, bring it back out. Uh, ammonium thiosulfate is my fixer. Just a 20% solution. I make up fresh about every 14 or 15 plates. Um, stuff's pretty cheap. Um, so no, no point in making it, using it longer than you need to. We'll let that clear, that little ridge up at top will uh, we'll clear out as well. I was really, really happy with how that one turned out. So we'll let it wash for a couple of minutes. You saw how fast it cleared there, so I don't really leave it in there very, very long. So I'll pour that back in. There's that finished plate after it's been washed a bunch of times and back home in my basement before varnishing. There's a second one we did, um, the exact same setup, just changed Bailey's pose a little bit. Uh, going back in now, we did a second pose um, where she was laying down. So you'll see I moved the soft box, sort of repositioned it to light her directly overhead. And uh, changed my camera up there. You get a good look at the back of it there right before I put the dark the dark cloth on really here just watching to make sure I didn't get the feet of the light stand in this photo um, while I move it around so there you see I'm moving her up a little bit get them feet out of there keeping her feet in there 
Uh, same setup on the light though. Um, 206 had one pop at 4,800 watt seconds. Load it up. Uh, put the lens cap on. Uh, no shutter on this lens, so I'm just pulling the lens cap off um, to open it up. And uh, single pop. Let a little fill light come in. It really didn't have that much of an effect. It probably needed to go about 15 seconds uh, to have any sort of exposure. So here we go. Uh, again, went through the whole developing process like before, or brought it out in the tray, and just uh, let you see the cool part here where it develops or where it fixes. That's it, we made four plates, uh, two poses like this, two poses like the previous shot you saw. I'm gonna look at all of them here at the end of the video. And thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I'll try to get to questions if anybody leaves them in the comments below.